Hi guys, I'm Jill, also known as Ollie. Um, I'm part of Team Ace and Team Prodiscus for the next two years. Um, and we're here in sunny Loughborough to take a look at what I'm throwing in my bag. And also to just look around the campus and how things are in disc sports with me. Um, so let's get to it. Where'd, where'd I put it? That, that was a joke. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's camouflage. <laughs> so to start with, uh, to putt, I've got the Sparta in the base plastic. They have two putters and the Sparta is the deeper of the two. And I just like the way it feels. I like a really deep putter and it seems to, to fly good. So rocking that to throw. Uh, I've got Jokeries um, and these are really filling like a not just an approach disc but also kind of a, a mid-range disc these go a long way um, but also have a lot of touch um, i'd compare them to like a slower zone so they're not going to fade as hard on you but they can still take a lot of power um, in the basic plastic it's slightly straighter and also the grip on this basic plastic is fantastic um, like it's raining now and like this isn't slipping out of my hand um, and then we've got the premium and ultrium plastics. So both of these are a lot more overstable than this. Um, premium is like a flexible kind of gummy translucent one with some good tack on it. So again, even in the rain, this is feeling all right to me. Ultrium is a lot stiffer and more of like a stiff star type. So I feel I can get a lot of purchase on this, but I'm going to need to dry it off because it is a bit slicker. The midsection is quite high to low with um, with Prodiscus, so I feel like I'm going to use a lot of my Jokeries for that versatile mid-range shot. Um, however, maybe my favourite disc that they've come out with um, and given me is the Starry. This is an easy mid-range. Why would you throw something not easy? But it's very, very, very flippy, but also very glidey. Um, so this can just do some crazy shot shapes. Um, it's great for throwing low-powered shots and just getting free distance out of. Um, and my first throw I aced with this. So you can't not like it. Next up is the Troyer. Um, this is probably like a mid-range tilt. When it says 5314, I think that's maybe an underestimate. This disc is truly ridiculous, but I'm still going to throw it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, sometimes you, you just need that. Yeah, it's going to do things that other, other discs can't. And it's a lot of fun to show off with. So it's going to stay in for that reason. I think the drivers are another range where Prodiscus really shines. So the Jokery is what everyone probably knows them for, but they've got a fantastic lineup of drivers. Um, so starting with the Flippery, it does what it says. Um, from the profile, there's almost like a flat underwing. That nose really drops down and this thing just flips into a roller instantly, um, which is what you want for this disc. I'm carrying the Lasery. Uh, that's kind of my straight disc. This rain is picking up now, but we rock on. Um, it's maybe a bit flippier than that minus one one suggests. Um, it's more of a, a minus two maybe, um, but it hides a flips fantastically and it will glide a long way. Um, you can get sneaky distance out of this. It's maybe a bit faster than it feels. Um, so definitely a useful disc. One that I'm not sure has been generally released yet, um, but it's the talisman and certainly one to look forward to. So I've got it here in their sparkle plastic. This is a first run. So anything with this stamp this is a first run one uh, for those of you that, that love that jazz. Um, to me, this is kind of like a T-Bird. Um, it's got that straight to fade. This maybe has a touch more drift than a T-Bird. It's not got exactly that torque resistance. Definitely like a really reliable fairway driver, the Respecty. Um, Again, maybe the numbers don't quite reflect how this flies. This is effectively Prodiscus's uh, Firebird disc. So where it says that 1-2, um, it's, it's maybe more like a 1-3. Um, this thing's very overstable. Um, and sometimes, you again, you need that. Um, it is a bit slower than a Firebird, so you're not going to get as much distance out of it, but when you need to go right or left. Next one might just be my go-to driver for the season. Uh, the Titan. Um, it's going to be replacing my Raptor, um, probably your PD, uh, anything like that. It's maybe a slightly slower version of it, but this takes four hands fantastically. It throws that perfect flat to fade, holds up in a headwind, goes a long way. 
really superb disc and really versatile. It'll flex out on you. This is an absolute go-to, I think. Kind of before the distance drivers, I'm gonna class this um, in the hybrids, the slidey. So it's, I think it's numbered like a Wraith, but I'd say it's more of a 10 speed. This one was dyed at our university club's lovely disc dyeing social, which we had a good time with, but it's a Heiser flip machine. This thing's gonna pop up, go straight, and maybe not even really fade out on you um, and go quite a long way doing it. So certainly useful um, and really interesting for shaping forehand shots as well. The Rosari has really surprised me. It's, um, it goes a long way. It's got a lot more glide than I think the numbers give it credit for, um, while still having a lot of over stability. So you can hammer on this forehand. It'll get a little drift and a little ride, but it'll never completely turn over. And then it will hook up for you at the end. I've thrown this downhill into a headwind and it's held up and faded out. And then this premium plastic, you can really dig your thumb in and get a great grip on it. Again, I think like the Talisman, this might not be on general release yet, uh, but this is the Empire. Um, and this is a great counterpart to the Rosari. Um, slightly faster, um, more dome to it in this Ultrium plastic. Um, so maybe this one feels a bit better backhand to me. Um, but this one will get kind of that bigger left or right drift in the air, I think. Um, more of a hook, but also more of a turn. Um, great distance driver. Finally, one that I've been playing around with, uh, the Legenda. So this actually feels super thin in the hand. I almost feel like it's like one finger's worth of grip in the rim, um, but feels super fast. Um, I've got it in a slightly lighter weight and it's quite flippy relative to the numbers. Um, but in a higher weight, I think this could be a really good um, absolute bomber disc. Um, so we'll see how that turns out and how this bag ends up changing through the season. Thank you for taking a look inside my bag. Um, I hope that you have a great season. And if you'd like to follow me throughout my season, you can find me on Instagram um, or keep up with me through the ACE website. Um, I want to say thanks to Prodiscus for picking me up and I can't wait to show off some of their discs. If you want to check any of them out, ACE are now stocking them um, and have a great range. So go have a look. Um, see you next time.